ran a little faster than the other kids, even at that age. He had a little stronger arm than the other kids. He was real unassuming, he was real quiet. He had leadership. He was a great kid to be around, always. And he had a focus from a very early age. There's a lot of stories out there, obviously, about the contracts he had to make with mom and dad to be able to do things. And he'd be there after practice. He'd be the one that would come up and say, practice is almost over, can I stay afterwards and take ground balls? He had a focus that most people just don't have. Derek was a skinny guy. Uh, skinny legs, skinny arms, and he always came out the next day, no matter what kind of day he had at the, at the plate, whether it was a good day or a bad day, he came out the next day, he was in the batting cage waiting, and he, he always had a smile on his face. It seemed like his confidence was just unshakable at the time. I remember a young kid that had an infectious personality, uh, young players gravitated to him, older guys gravitated to him, so there was a lot there. People were always interested in what he had to say. He had an, an, a gold NY necklace around his neck, and if you ask him what that was for, he said, because I'm going to be the Yankee shortstop. Now, you can interpret that as this is a really brash, cocky kid, or you could interpret it as he's got focus, and he had that focus from a very early age, and it's never changed. Jeter's reputation as a focused and talented player continued to spread. After being drafted in the first round by the Yankees in 1992, his skills, his work ethic, and his desire pushed him toward the major leagues. Yes, there were obstacles along Jeter's journey, but he overcame them. I had heard some things about him, and I knew he was, and I went down to Greensboro, and I saw him uh, play down there, but I didn't know much about him before that. You could tell he was a good thinker, and he did listen, though. I knew he was very coachable. I think he showed maturity beyond his years, and he just had that confident demeanor, even though uh, he went through phases where he struggled offensively and defensively, and, and he showed great poise and maturity, and that's one of the things that really stood out to all of us. You know, I, I told Posada one day that he got a problem to him double plays, and uh, I don't know how he's going to react, how, how he's going to take it. So Posada, big mistake, told Jeter, and every day for almost uh, two weeks, we got to be on the field almost every single day in turn over plays, and that's explained to him how to do it, and uh, he loved that. Uh, he would come out in, in early January before most anybody else would come out. He understood the value of hard work, and he wasn't going to let anybody else out working. Zimmer and I used to talk about, we never saw anybody that could charge a bouncing ball. It didn't matter which hop he got it on. He never dropped the ball. He catches almost every one. It's a, it's a shock when he charges the ball and doesn't catch the baseball. 